Okay, I'm so sorry. I know this video is like totally late for Christmas, but you know the holidays get kind of crazy busy sometimes. But I hope everyone's having a good New Year so far. Okay, let's jump right into it. So I started off with two um, pigments. These are both from Star Crushed Minerals and I will list all the products I used in the description below. And I started out with a lighter pigment and I put that all over my crease and underneath my eyes and blended that out with a fluffy brush. And I just keep, I keep. And I just kept applying more pigment until I was happy with the color. Because once you blend it out, you're going to lose some of that color, that intensity. And then I took a darker red pigment and I put that all over my lid and blended that in with the lighter pigment in my crease. And I also went a little bit higher than my natural crease to make my eyes look a little bigger. And I know it looks like a mess now, like you have sore eyes, but don't worry about fallout and stuff. We're gonna, It's going to all come together in the end. I dragged some of that pigment down my nose for some contour and blended it out under my eyes. And then I took um, a black eyeshadow and a liner brush and just darkened around all around my eye line. This doesn't have to be super perfect, I just wanted to darken it a little bit. And then I took some gel liner and a liner brush and I did a large wing. I also lined my waterline with the gel liner and then I popped on a pair of giant curly false eyelashes. And then I went all over my face with um, Mayron Star Blend in white. This is just a white, very pigmented powder. And then I lined my lips with a red lip liner, overdrew them a little bit. and filled them in with a red lipstick. And then with those pigments I used earlier, I pat the lighter one in the center and I brushed the darker one on the outer corners to give it a sort of ombre effect. And then with some black face paint and a thin liner brush, I drew the shape of my skull. And to make sure it was even, I just gave myself some guide dots on the other side. And then with the lighter pigment, I shaded underneath the skull line. And then I also decided to drag down some of that color in a streaky kind of look. And I also did that with a darker pigment um, and a smaller brush just to give it some texture. This is a very artistic looking skull, um, definitely not um, anatomically correct. So, And then with uh, that liner brush again, I drew in my teeth. And I lightly pressed my lips together to see where the bottom ones go and then I drew the bottom teeth. And then I took a black eyeshadow and I shaded behind each tooth. So that was on the right side of the lines on the right side and left side on the left side. And I also shaded um, some parts of the skull. So like the nose and the cheeks. And then I took um, that red pigment and put it on the tip of my nose. And I took that dark eyeshadow and shaded behind the skull. I also created um, kind of an eye socket look. Again, like this is just a um, creative, artistic looking skull, so the shading's not exact or anything, but. I decided to make some divots in the skull and some shading and things. And then with that black face paint, I just defined it a little more. And then with some black eyeshadow, I connected the lines and deepened the black a little bit, the black shading. And then with what was left on that liner brush, I kind of defined the teeth a little bit at the top, just brought them to a little point. And 
then I took some white face paint and added some highlights. Just really close to all the black lines that you made to make it stand out and um, give it the illusion that it's um, a little raised a little more than the the black parts which will be recessed. And then I started making my collar. As you can see, I messed up a few times and just wiped it off with a makeup wipe until I was happy with the lines. And then I used the lighter and darker pigment again to fill in the sides, the lighter on the inside and darker on the outside and blended it together. And this blending wasn't, you could spend a longer time and blend it nice and neat, but since this look was all streaky anyway, I just left it the way it was. And also dragged some of that pigment down in the center to match the sides of my face. And then I shaded with the black eyeshadow on either side of the black lines just to give it some more dimension. And then I went across in the center to look like ties or something um, connecting the two sides of my collar. And then with this shadowing you want to pull it straight across so it gives the illusion that those ties are hanging down slightly. And I added some black dots to them too. With some yellow face paint, I added some dots in the inner and outer corners of my eyes. And with a wet brush, um, I took some glitter and just tapped it on the wet paint and it stuck to the wet paint. I used a poinsettia flower for my inspiration for this. So these yellow dots are kind of the center of the flower. And I added them on the upper and lower part of my mouth. And then again, tapped on some gold glitter. And then on the, my lower lip, I kind of dragged that glitter down my chin to go along with the rest of my face. I also pulled some of the glitter down my chest in the front there, and it dragged some of the black paint down too, which I really liked the way that came out. And then I also added some more red pigments to match the rest of the look. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's having a great New Year's. Um, please like and subscribe for some more videos to come, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.